In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you every single fragrance I wore over the past week. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Hi, my name is Aisha from simplyaisha.com. Here on YouTube, I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, I have a different background. I'm actually standing outside with my door open so I can hear my kids if they talk. But y'all know, if you've seen one of these videos from me, I do them very relaxed. So, most of the video is filmed on my phone. And I just come to you all however I come to you all, okay? So, if you've never seen one of these videos from me and them, I do them vlog style. And every day when I wear a fragrance, I come on and let you guys know a little bit about the fragrance and why I chose it for that particular occasion. At the end of the video, I come back and let you guys know three standout fragrances from the past week and they could be standouts for good reasons or bad reasons so let's go ahead and get to this week's fragrances hey y'all happy Sunday so it's actually Sunday night but I forgot to share my fragrance this morning <laughs> so here I am uh, so this morning I wore Roja Enigma Oud this was gifted to me from the brand this bottle is so beautiful this is actually my first time wearing it but it is a fruity oud scent a fruity floral oud i believe peach is the main fruit that i can pick up and then as far as the florals i'm really not sure i just know it's kind of a blend of florals very well blended um and then the oud is there as well but anyway i picked this because I recently received it from the brand and i really wanted to try it out so i figured it would be a great time to try it and i wore this to church so for tonight, I just took a shower and tonight I'm wearing Baccarat Rouge 540. I don't know why. I just, I was in the shower trying to figure out what I was gonna wear while I was cleaning up, you know? And this just popped into my head and I just really wanted to wear it. I don't wear it that often, the original. Actually, I don't wear the X-Trade that often anymore either, but I don't wear the uh, EDP that often, but I still really love this fragrance and I felt like spraying it on tonight. So this is what I'm wearing. Good morning, y'all. Happy Monday. I'm getting ready to take the kids to school and exercise. So I wanted to just wear something that smells fresh and clean today. So today I'm wearing Kayali Must 12. This is a musky fragrance that has a little bit of sweetness from vanilla, I believe. And it also kind of smells um, like it has some watery floral sweetness to it as well. Yeah, so this is what I'm wearing for this part of the day. Hey y'all, it's still Monday and I am now showered and dressed for the day. And the fragrance I'm wearing is Blue Agava and Cacao by Jo Malone. I have not worn this in probably well over a year. This was my first Jo Malone fragrance and I used to use it a lot and then I stopped because at one point it was discontinued. It's now back available, but I stopped using it once it became discontinued because I didn't want it to leave. But anyway, I love this fragrance. Um, it is a kind of sweet floral with some darker spices to it um yeah i don't really know how to explain it well <laughs> clearly i haven't been wearing it but anyway i do love this fragrance i just have not worn it and the reason i decided to wear it today is because i told my husband while i was taking a shower i told him to go pick a fragrance for me like any random fragrance and it was kind of weird giving him that level of control because usually if I have him pick a fragrance, I'll have like two pulled to the side, but I honestly had no idea what to wear. So it was kind of like exciting to have him pick. And then he picked this and I was like, seriously, that's what you pick? <laughs> but I'm glad he did because now that I'm wearing it, I remember how much I really enjoy this fragrance. So yeah, anyway, long story long, this is what I'm wearing for today. Hey y'all, it's Tuesday night and tonight I'm wearing Kryptonite by Khalil T. This was sent to me and this is my first time wearing it, but so far so good. Um, to me, it kind of smells like a creamy sandalwood with some spices in it and maybe some vanilla or tonka and possibly some almond. So yeah, uh, I picked this tonight because I haven't worn it yet. I recently hauled it and so I wanted to try it out. So yeah, that's what I'm doing for tonight. Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. So today I'm wearing Sun of Fruit by Ellis Brooklyn. This is a beautiful summery scent. I don't want to say too much about because I just, this is my first time wearing it, so I don't really have any thoughts yet, but it is a nice scent for summer. And the reason I picked this today is because it was sent to me, so I am testing it out to see, you know, what I think about it. 
Hey y'all, it's Tuesday night, and tonight I'm wearing Santal Don Shaw by Armani Privé. This is a sandalwood scent that kind of smells like pencil shavings, but it also has a little bit of spiciness to it, a little bit of sweetness to it. And this is not typically something I would wear like at for bedtime, <laughs> but I've just been wanting to wear it. It's at the front of my collection, so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna wear it anyway. It's not really a relaxing scent. I mean, it is kind of a calm scent, but. I typically go for different types of scents for bedtime. But anyway, uh, this is what I am wearing for tonight. Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. So earlier this morning when I first got up, I actually sprayed this Gucci Memoir Dune Odeur. Um, we're actually in the midst of a hurricane right now. We're good, thank God. But there's still windy and rain. So when I first woke up, I just wanted something comforting. This is a tea, cam a chamomile tea and jasmine scent, I believe. Um, but it's just very calming. So I sprayed this initially when I first woke up. And now that I'm showered and dressed for the day, I'm wearing Bianco Latte by Giardini di Toscano. This is a milky, creamy, vanilla scent that has a little bit of spice in there. And it's just delicious smelling. So this is only my second time wearing it. This is a newer fragrance to my collection, but it smells amazing. And I went for this because I wanted something cozy for this rainy day. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for today. Hey y'all, it's Wednesday night. And tonight I started out by applying this Quell Nera Banana Milk Body Lotion. This smells just like the name, like a banana milkshake. And within that body lotion, I mixed in this body oil from Brooklyn Dream. This is the banana and cedar. And again, this smells like a pure banana. I can smell cedar too, but it's not, it's really not the star of the show. It just seems like it grounds it a little bit. So I mixed this in with my lotion. And then the fragrance that I'm wearing tonight is Bananas Brulee by Dawkins Rome. And this smells like banana dessert. So sweet bananas. I don't know if I necessarily smell creme brulee, but it definitely smells sweet and it doesn't necessarily smell like banana Laffy Taffy. It's more like a banana foster or something like that, like a some sort of real dessert, not candy. So the reason that I went for this tonight is just because when I was in the shower, I just thought I wanted to smell sweet and I was going to wear Angel Ice Star, but I decided to go for this banana scent um, just to be different because I feel like I've been wearing Ice Star a lot. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for tonight. Good morning, y'all. Happy Thursday. So today, the fragrance I'm wearing is Leisure in Paradise by Simone Andrioli. This is a kind of coconut milk with fruit scent. I think it has mango, or no, I think it has papaya and pineapple in there, and definitely some sweetness, I think vanilla, but it's a very like creamy coconut scent in my opinion. The reason that I chose this for today is because it's actually my mom's birthday, and um, those of you who watch my channel, you probably already know, but she passed away a few months ago. And um, today is very strange to say the least. Anyway, today's my mom's birthday. I love the name of this, Leisure in Paradise, because I think about her being at leisure in paradise and not dealing with sickness anymore. Um, so yeah, that's why I picked this for today. I'm so out of it today, but I forgot to show y'all the fruit, the body butter I started with. So I started with this Tipsy Goat Soap Company Mango and Papaya body butter, and it just smells sweet and tropical. And um, yeah, this is my scent for my mom. What would have been my mom's 62nd birthday? She only would have been 62, y'all. She was not very old. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing for today. Hey y'all, it's Thursday night and tonight I'm wearing Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. This is just a regular flower bomb. I feel like we all know what this smells like, but I picked this tonight because this is a fragrance that my mom used to wear. So I figured it would be a good night to wear it. I didn't know what I was going to wear. So yeah, that's why I'm wearing this for tonight. Hey y'all, happy Friday. So I am feeling much better today. <clears throat> I just showered and got dressed, and the fragrance I'm wearing is Tonka Cola by Mansera. This is a spicy kind of soda scent. It definitely has Tonka in it in the base. That gives a little bit of powderiness and a little bit of an almondy feel. Um, but yeah, I'm wearing this today because I haven't worn it in a while, and I didn't know what I wanted to wear, so put this on. I do have a lot of these later today, but it's in a few hours, so I think this would have died down enough by then. Hopefully, because I don't really see this as a workout scent, but I really want to wear it. So, 
this is what I'm wearing for today. Hey y'all, it's Friday night and tonight I am wearing Smoking Hot by Killian. This is a brand new release. I will have a video coming out for the next few days, hopefully. Hopefully Wednesday of this week, my video will be up. So make sure you all are subscribed, have your notification bell on so you don't miss it. But um, yeah, we're not gonna talk about this tonight, but this is what I'm wearing for tonight. Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. So today I'm wearing Metalik by Tom Ford. This is a vanilla scent that is a little bit sweet, but not cupcakey. And it has these aldehydes in it that give it this really, really kind of clean, cold vibe. Perfect for year round. Um, it's been probably about two months since I wore this. So I figured I would wear it today. I didn't know what I wanted to wear. Don't know exactly what we're gonna be getting into with the children, but I figured this will work no matter what. So yeah, anyway, this is what I'm wearing for today. Hey y'all, it's Saturday evening. I'm getting ready to take my shower and the fragrance I'm gonna wear tonight is Narciso Poudre. This is a powdery, musky scent, perfect to wear around the house. I'm not doing anything. I haven't actually went out any time this week at night. <laughs> so sorry for that. I usually like to include some sort of date night or fun night out fragrance, but anyway, um, this is real life. And yeah, I'm wearing this tonight because I, don't feel the best so i didn't want anything heavy and this is always very comforting to me so yeah this is what i'm wearing for tonight so i had a pretty good fragrance wearing week i feel like i wore some different things this week i do have three standouts the first one is none other than baccarat rouge 540 and this one is a standout because i hadn't worn it in a little minute and it smelled really good y'all i still really love this fragrance it's just not one that i wear all the time but i still really enjoy it and after wearing it it made me want to wear it again like i had to stop myself from wearing it another time this week or layering it with something i try not to repeat fragrances too much in these videos because i don't want it to be boring for you all but if i would not have been filming i probably would have worn this another time this week so it's definitely a standout the second standout is blue agava and cacao from joe malone and this one is a standout out because I hadn't worn it in well over a year <laughs> and I probably wouldn't have reached for it but my husband reached for it and it worked perfectly it actually performed better than I remember and I just really enjoyed wearing this it smelled so like clean and fresh but not boring in any way very unique smelling and different so yeah I really enjoy wearing this and that's why it's a standout and my third standout is Tonka Cola from Mancera. And the reason this one is a standout is kind of for the same reasons. I hadn't worn it in a little bit, um, maybe at least about two months or so. This was sent to me from Twisted Lily a while ago. I did do a review all about it, but I haven't worn it recently. And I wanted to wear it, I wore it, and it performed really, really well. I'm pretty sure the performance on this has improved since I did my review. I will link that review for you all if you wanna see it. But I feel like the performance got better. I didn't have to spray a lot. I smelled it on myself all day. And when I say all day, I smelled it on myself until I took a shower that night, y'all. Like, easily smelled it on myself. When I was washing it off in the shower, I don't know if y'all have ever experienced this, but if you're wearing a strong fragrance and you get in the shower and you have that steam, I can smell the fragrance before I, like, scrub it off. Like, I can smell it in the shower. <laughs> and that's what I got from this, y'all. So I felt like that was pretty impressive and worth the mention. I definitely think that the performance has improved. It still smells the same to me, and I still am not 100% in love with the opening of this fragrance because of that kind of citrusy note but once the fragrance is on my skin for like five minutes or so that goes away for me and I begin to enjoy it. So again, that is Tonka Cola from Mancera. So those were my fragrances for this week. Let me know if you've tried any of the fragrances. What do you think of them? And let us know in the comments down below if you had a standout fragrance for the week, whether that be a good standout or a bad standout, we wanna know, okay? <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I have tons of content. Also, make sure you check out my website. It's www simplyaisha.com and follow me over on instagram if you want to connect more i hope you all enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye